Hi guys, welcome to Maneuver. So notification is out for the SBI PO 2018 as many people were awaiting for this exam and finally it is out. So in this video, I'll talk about the selection process for this post and uh, what are the eligibility criteria and how the paper pattern goes. Okay. First, let's talk about the important dates. So registration has been started from 21st of April and uh, last date to register for SBI PO will be 30th of May. And your prelim examination will be on 1st, 7th, 8th of July. And result for the prelim exam you will be getting by 15th of July. And your mains exam will be on 4th of August. And result for mains will be coming out by 28th of August. After the third round which is your GD and the interview round. Which will be from 24th of September to 12th of October. And final result for the selection you will be getting by 1st of November. So this is what the important dates guys so please pause the video and jot down these dates okay so now eligibility wise they have a two condition one is the age and second is the education so your age should be between 21 years to 30 years this is what the age criteria they have given you and education wise you should be graduate from any discipline whether science commerce or art doesn't matter and it should be recognized by the university or, or equivalent qualification organization fine so this is what the two criteria they have Okay, so now let me talk about the vacancy. So this year total vacancy is 2000 last compared to last year the vacancy is slightly less But this is what the total vacancy this year 2000 vacancy they have given you Fine now this table is very very important guys and this table will motivate you why you should write the SBI PO exam and why you should prepare For this exam. Okay, so basic pay you will be getting 27,620 is the basic pay and there are the other breakup also like pay scale and then DA, then your HRA, furniture allowance, medical insurance, petrol, traveling allowances. So overall gross salary, which you will be getting around 7.5 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs. This is what the annual salary you will be getting once you get selected for the SBI PO post. Nothing but the officer post. So please pause this video and jot down this table and stick on the wall where you study. So whenever you prepare, whenever you start your preparation, just see this chart and then start your preparation. This will give you the motivation to prepare for this exam. Fine. Okay, now let me talk about the paper pattern. So paper will be in the phases. First is the phase one, which is nothing but the prelim exam. And uh, marking wise, if your answer is right, you will be getting one mark. If it is wrong, then 0.25 is the negative marking. And the section which will be coming in your prelim exam are English, numerical ability, which is nothing but your quant, and then third is the reasoning. And 35 question from the reasoning for 35 marks. So overall one hour you will be getting to finish overall 100 questions. Okay. So this is nothing but your phase one. Once you clear the phase one, you are eligible to write the phase two exam. Nothing but the SBI PO mains. So mains will be overall 250 marks. 200 marks will be your objective. Objective I mean to say one question, four options. And 50 marks for the descriptive. So 50 marks paper will be in descriptive manner where you have to write the essay and the letter writing. So this is what the your objective paper pattern. There are the reasoning section along with the computer, then data analysis and the interpretation, then your general awareness part along with the economic and banking and then English sections. But there is a one more concern like a, there is a time foundation. For example, reasoning and the computer, 45 question will be there for 60 marks and which you have to finish in 60 minutes. Likewise for data analysis and data interpretation 35 question will be there for 60 marks which you have to finish in 45 minutes and for general awareness and for general awareness 40 questions 40 marks in 35 minutes you have to finish and for English 30 questions 30 marks for in 40 minutes you have to finish so overall 3 hours you will be getting to finish 155 question and there is one more concern like you cannot switch from one section to another section which means if you are solving reasoning you cannot switch to the data analysis and the data interpretation section and unless and until 60 minutes gets over all right so this is what the constraint this is what the time constraint they have given you in the objective in descriptive 30 minutes you will be getting for the descriptive test where which will be for 50 marks and it will test your writing skill in english language through letter writing and the essay writing as i told you earlier okay so once you clear the phase two you are eligible for phase three which is nothing but the gd and pi group discussion and the personal interview which have a 20 marks and 30 marks respectively. So this is the phase three. So overall it have a three phases, phase one, phase two and phase three. Now let me talk about the final score calculation. So whatever marks you are getting in prelim exam, it have no any importance 
in your selection so phase 1 marks they do not consider at all so candidates should qualify in phase 2 and phase 3 separately so they consider phase 2 marks and phase 3 marks to select the candidate now this is very very important many students are not aware of the marks conversion so your 250 marks get converted as 75 marks which is of the mains exam and for GD and PI marks which is for 50 marks it get converted as a 25 marks so, so overall your selection based on how much you have scored out of 100 marks and accordingly you get selected for the SBI PO post I hope I have made the, all the picture very clear with respect to the SBI PO selection process so guys this is the golden opportunity to build your career into the banking sector and it have way more salary than the other banking examination trust me if you are really ambitious to get into the government banks so you should thorough prepare for this exam guys with respect to each sections and each phases all right fine if you want to join us so you can call our counselor for classroom program you can call on 9076424208 and if you want to join us for the online program where mock test video lecture and books are available so just click on this box and check out the online program or else you can visit www.manuario.com website and but if you want to join us for the classroom program just call on this number and check out the batches for the classroom program please click on the circle and subscribe the channel guys because i'll be putting more video based on the based on the sbipo examinations all the best and thank you